La Hala weaving. There is something about weaving that relaxes me, allows me to think, and that I just enjoy. But a lot of people don't know that in order to weave, there's the process of preparing the leaves of the Puhala tree, or Lauhala, to, uh, in order to weave. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is gather our leaves. And the best time to gather leaves is during the dry season because you want your leaves somewhat uh, dry. Um, in Hawaiian lahala weaving, we use only the leaves that have uh, fallen from the tree or coming off of the tree, the, the ones that have gone through their whole maturing process. And we gather them. So when I gather my leaves, I usually cut the heads and the tails off at the tree so that I can put, put it back into the earth and food for the tree. But if I don't have time, I'll bring it home and do that at home. So after you've cut the heads and tails, you should have a nice pile like this. And then you're ready for the next step. your leaves back home you might notice that there's lots of thorns on them well we're gonna learn a really cool way of taking them off so I'm just doing a little strip here and I'm taking my thumb and stripping the thorns off the side you always want to be sure to work in the directions that the thorns are grow growing in. Some weavers like to do their stripping and just kind of hold on to, ouch, hold on to the thorns. That way it doesn't go all over the place. And then at the end, you can tie it up into a nice bundle um, and put it under, under the tree to compost. But I don't like to do that because these thorns are wicked. Okay, now that you've gotten the thorns off of the leaf, it's important to wipe it down because there's lots of dirt on it, there's um, rats and gecko poop and all kinds of things that can be on this leaf and if you're going to store it in a kuka'a like this you want your leaves to be clean. So now that we've wiped our leaves down mm, and they smell nice and clean we're gonna flatten them out using a bamboo roller like this. Our hand in, that's how the Hawaiians used to do it or a nice fancy roller like this. So come on, let's go flatten our leaves. Okay, so now that we've flattened the lao you should have leaves that look like this. And we're going to take this and put it into a kuka.
now that your kuka'a is done, you want to keep it in this state for about a week before you move into the next step. In this step, we're going to open up the kuka'a, take out the midriff or the bone, and soften it with a Japanese roller, noodle roller like this, an udon roller, or it, we have Italian ones that also work, or um, in the more simpler version, a butter knife or a letter opener. into the size that you need for weaving. The old Hawaiians used to use thorns and various different things like that. But today I use strippers that look like this. They have adjustable spacers on the inside and I use exacto knife blades to put between the spacers. And this is just a wonderful tool. Congratulations, you've made it this far and you should have your strips. Now you're ready to weave.